This week we broke into a new series on the letter of 1 John, this John being one of the sons of thunder, he's also the disciple whom Jesus loved, and he's likely the author of all the writings under the title John. Even among the twelve, John seemed to have a special closeness with Christ. He's in the even smaller circle that Jesus took aside several times, he's beside Jesus during the Last Supper, and he's the disciple Jesus asked to look after Mary after his crucifixion. In this letter, there isn't a lot of formal structure, but the theme of it all is joy, articulated in three ways. First is a joy anchored in Christ, it's a joy of being forgiven, of of knowing who we are in the world, and of being loved by God. Second is a joy manifest in answered prayer. When we ask according to his will, he hears us. He's a father who gives good gifts. But he notes that sin drives a wedge in that joy, and for that reason we pursue holiness. Third is a joy that centers on abiding. It's what we enter upon confession, and John wants to safeguard by highlighting throughout the letter what removes us from this. Because while we abide in Christ, we make the unseen visible. We become the most powerful evidence of an invisible God to those who don't yet know him.